Hi, and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Worship Media Pro, and this is on Pro Presenter 4. In this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on media in general. So, media, whether it's audio files or backgrounds that we're working with, or foregrounds such as uh, mini movies and, uh, and mini clips that you might want to present on your projector. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to focus on here are the backgrounds. I'm just going to drag this. I've just clicked on this dot here, or I can click right here, and I can just drag this up to give me some more real estate to, uh, to see all my backgrounds. And, uh, and also, I can do some sorting, and I can do some searching to, uh, to search out the kind of backgrounds that I would like to use. As you can also see here, there's some visual icons that help me determine what kind of backgrounds they are. This means that it is a motion background. If I click on it, sure enough, you'll see some motion play in there, kind of subtle, but that's a motion background. And then this one does not have the little looping emblem there, and it is a still background. So I have some still backgrounds here. I also have backgrounds that look very similar to the motion backgrounds, but they're still backgrounds. So if I click on this guy, I got some motion going on there, some motion loops, okay? And, and I can also do some searching, so I can do .mov, and I can find all my movie loops, so now I have found all my movie loops. Or I can do JPEG, and I can find all of my JPEG images, my still backgrounds. Or I can do HD, and HD will find all of my high definition backgrounds, my still backgrounds, rather. Um, I can do SD, I only have one standard definition background. Okay, And I can do 720, so 720 will give me all of my HD motion loops. So these are my 16-9 aspect ratio. 1280 by 720 is the resolution of the screen that I'm using to project on, and that's the 16-9 aspect ratio. Or I can do 480. I only have one 480 loop, and as you can see, it's got these uh, um, black bands on each side. This is a standard definition known as 480p. Uh, this is a 4-3 aspect ratio. Generally, the movie size is 640 by 480. That's where it gets the 480p uh, naming convention. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear all that out. I can also uh, change my view, and I can change my view to a table view, which I, I actually prefer this. Uh, I get a little bit more um, information. I can also sort by kind, so I can put my movies uh, on the top of my JPEGs on the bottom or my JPEGs in the top, you know, vice versa. And again, I can also sort, but it also gives me some duration of the kind of clips that I'm playing here, a 40 second clip, a 30 oh, second clip. Um, these are all H.264 encoding. These are, uh, by the way, backgrounds from worshipmediapro.com. These are our backgrounds that I've loaded in here for the, for the tutorial, for the training series. Uh, a little bit more about these um, before I continue on to, uh, to other features here. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's go into the, um, let's go into, let's see, what's a good one to go into? I know I did this on my little training get you started uh, video as well, but this is something worth showing. So here I have a 720p motion background. It's my MOV file H264. I can go into this and, uh, and actually, you know what, let me do this a little bit different so that you can see it. I'm gonna go to the top here. All right, and uh, make sure I got the HD one there. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to property. All right. And by the way, these loop automatically. That is the behavior of them. So whenever you have uh, backgrounds in the background bin, they automatically loop. So you do not have to set looping on them. As you notice here, behavior is loop. Okay. I can also do some other things. I can uh, change the color. So I can just move this wheel around here and change my hue. I can make it a kind of a bronze, which is this is actually super cool. Uh, I can make it more of a kind of reddish, pinkish, purple kind of look. I can make it a little green. I'm going to put it back to this. Uh, that's just, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so we'll leave it there. I can change my saturation so I can make it kind of more of a, just a little bit more pale. Or I can kind of bump it up a little bit, make it a little bit more dynamic and bright. All right, so this is stuff you can do inside of Pro Presenter, which is great. So you're taking a basic background. I'm going to reset all there. You're taking a basic background, and you're modifying it. All right, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to reset that. I'm going to bring this back because I want to, I do want to use kind of like this. Now let's use that because that's actually a little bit more breathtaking. And also, this is my rate, my speed. Uh, right now, it's this is the standard speed. 
All right, as you can see right here. So that's pretty good actually, that's good motion. Some of them are a little bit slower, you might wanna bump them up. Let's say you got a little bit more of an upbeat song and, and you're putting the lyrics to a little bit more faster paced song. Maybe you wanna add a little bit more excitement with the background movement, you can just bump up the rate here. And as you notice now, look at the rate relative to the, to the standard rate. So I can bump that up, all right. I'm gonna leave it just like that. All I do is close the box, that does save it, okay? So I close the box and if I click on it again, there you go. Now you have the new color and, uh, and the faster rate. So uh, pretty amazing. You can go back in and reset all that and, and have it uh, back to the way it originally was. But I mean, that's pretty amazing. You can just go in and modify these things. All right, so uh, enough of that. We'll leave that one running there. Let me put it back to my thumbnail view here. Now I have this other bin called Foregrounds. Foregrounds is for like little mini clips. Uh, uh, little mini movies that you're playing. These ones do not are th these backgrounds are. Oh, I'm sorry. These uh, files are not motion backgrounds. They are simply mini movies that you would be playing on your projector. You can put inside the foreground. Same searching capabilities. Same listing capabilities. I do not have any in here for uh, for this tutorial. Okay. So that's that's backgrounds. All right. Now, if I want to apply a background to uh, to a song, real simple here. I have one example of a song. My category is song. I actually created a playlist called My Playlist. We're going to get into playlists and songs in other training series or other uh, training modules. But right now, uh, just really quick, I have uh, hey, I have my background that we've modified, and I'm using that for this particular song. So as I click through this song here, as you can see, I am playing Amazing Grace with that background. All right, a little bit too fast of a background for Amazing Grace. Um, but I can swap it out really fast by just simply clicking on another background. Now I'm playing a different background with that, with that song Amazing Grace. Okay, real simple to do. Real simple to just change out your backgrounds. All right, so let's put it back to, uh, where's that guy at? Where are you at? Um, I lost you. No, that wasn't it. Where are you? It's because it changed the color, threw me off. There it is. Okay. All right. So I'm just putting it back to that guy. Okay. And I can also uh, I can also apply the background to a Bible verse as well, or I could not. I can just simply drop out the background and have it as a still for a Bible verse. Okay. Or I can um, drop out the background altogether and just have a black background by just clicking on no background button here. I can wipe out all backgrounds, everything, and just fade to black and have nothing but black here. Or I can click on logo and present my logo. And where you modify this is if you go up to Pro Presenter and you go to Preferences, I'm going to, yep, there we go, make sure I dragged it in there. Okay. And uh, here is where I load it under my Generals tab. I just go to Change Logo and I add my new logo. Make sure you add the logo to the aspect ratio that you're working with or the screen resolution. And where you find out and modify your screen resolution is clicking on the Display tab. And again, mine's 1280 by 720 is my output screen. That's my 16:9 aspect ratio screen, wide screen. And uh, just you know, have the logo meet the, the dimensions of that so it looks very nice and clean. As you can see, it doesn't look clean here because this is just a preview pane. This isn't the actual presentation screen. So th that's why it looks that way. Okay, so we covered uh, backgrounds. We've covered uh, foregrounds. Now, it's very simple to add backgrounds. You simply just drag and drop your background. There we go. Backgrounds. Okay, so real simple. I just drag and drop my backgrounds. I already have that background there, so I'm just going to have another copy of the same background. That's okay. I'll just delete it later. Okay, so I got that guy, and then I got this guy. Same with my motion backgrounds. I would just drag my MOV file. Forget the WMV. That's for Windows. Uh, just use your MOV. That's a nice, very nice compression, high resolution file. Okay, that's it. Just drag and drop. Now it references that specific. Uh, file in your folder. So don't change your fi files around or your folders around on your desktop. Okay, make sure you keep those files in the exact same place. And I'll uh, uh, point proven here. I just right click on it. Okay, I can right click on any one of these guys. Say reveal in Finder. All right, so I just revealed in Finder and voila, pulled it up right where I was at. Tutorial resources. Okay, so uh, make sure you. Uh, you